I have the feeling that this is gonna be the unboxing video of the year. So let's check it out. Now, I just received this box just like an hour ago from Tie-Dye Exotics. They're not really a new dealer, but they're new to me. I just learned about him. Uh, he's been vending at some shows. He's got a brick and mortar store. What he wants to promote today is his website, his online store, because Tie-Dye Exotics is a one-stop shop for invertebrates. He's got a lot more than just tarantulas and true spiders. He's got a huge selection, probably the largest selection in the country of centipedes, as well as scorpions, beetles, roaches, isopods, and so much more. So this video is sponsored by tiedyedexotics.com. And he sent me this large box of invertebrates and he's got a whole list of everything on the outside of the box. It's more than I was expecting. So I'm super stoked to open this up and let you see what's inside. And introduce you to tie-dyed exotics if you've never heard of them before. So let's see what's in here. Up first, we've got some tie-dyed exotic stickers. Oh, and some very cool stickers. These look like they are from Jesse at Shapes in Nature. He's a great Instagram, definitely go follow him. Amazing artist, does some really cool work with invertebrates and reptiles. It is the end of November, so he's got a nice heat pack in here and a phase pack, which helps kind of regulate heat. Ah, a pair of tongs. Never have too many tongs. Let's check them out. Oh, they got a nice, they got a nice little, uh, a nice little tension to them. I like them. Oh wow, I can already see this is gonna be awesome. Let's just go ahead and pull out the top one here. Let's see what we have. This is the Mega Glow Spot Roach. Oh, wow, they look awesome. So everything was packed up really well, had plenty of heat. All of these lids are sealed on real nicely. Oh, oh wow. What's next? These are orange back roaches. <laughs> they just took off hiding. I don't think any of these are actually, whoa, I got one in the trash can. Gosh, there's so much stuff. Up next is something I saw on his website and I really wanted because I never really kept these before. They're a beetle, but to be more precise, they're spider beetles. <gasps> oh, they're awesome too. Holy crap. These are even cooler than I expected. Now these are pretty neat. I have never had anything like this. Oh my gosh, they're massive. Now these are an isopod. This is the red ember bee, Merlin, Merlin, Merlinella species. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, these might be the coolest isopods I have now. Wow, this is massive. This is a purple giant, Scolopendra species. It's a centipede, it is very big. I'm getting a lot more centipedes lately. Might have to start making some more videos on centipedes. I'm just gonna get a couple shots through the plastic because I feel like as soon as I open this, he's gonna bolt. All right, what's next? Okay. Now these are two that I asked for specifically because I am trying to get a good collection of black widows or just different widow spiders. So I wanna make some videos on them. Oh, there's a couple in there and they're little ones, very tiny. But he did tell me he'd be sending me some like slings. So I was expecting them to be very young. Where'd the other one go? Oh, they both down there still. <laughs> Those are the brown widows, or Latrodectus geometricus. And then this is the Mediterranean widow, or the Latrodectus dolly, which I've never kept before. Oh, it's right up on top. Oh, there's a couple more in there too. Two small ones and one kind of a little more juvenile looking. Well, it's about twice the size. Probably from the same egg sac, it just ate a bunch of its siblings. <laughs> Typical widow behavior. This is a scorpion. See, he's got a lot more than just tarantulas. I mean, we've got beetles, we've got roaches, we've got isopods, we've got true spiders, we've got a big centipede. 
Whoa. <laughs> I, I pulled it off and he just kind of hulked up on me. Wow, he is gorgeous. Whoa, and big. Hey, this is the Onza Borrego Harry, or the Hadrurus Onza Borrego. I'm so good at pronouncing things. Man, he is a good size. I'm gonna have to make him an awesome enclosure. Super excited about that one. All right, that's it for the box. This is the Miocon Red Rump Bonita Tenzeri. Definitely not a tarantula I have ever had before. Rolled up, packed really well. Ooh, and it's kind of big. So we're just going to leave that in here. I'll show that to you when we get its enclosure. So let's see what's in this little deli cup. That's also taped up, nicely done. It's the little things. Just taking the time to stick some scotch tape and seal up a deli cup, but it really makes a big difference in my opinion. These are gonna be some cool spiders and they're all gonna be small. So we're gonna wait to get some film of them until uh, after I kind of get their enclosure set up and we're rehousing them. I think that'd be the safest, but this is the Magma Theraphosini species, which I don't know much about. He sent me some information on some of these that I'm not well aware of. And now we've got a Chilean six-eyed sand spider. All right, that's gonna be cool. And finally, <laughs> T. Celadonia. That is the Brazilian jewel. All right, so we've got everything unboxed. Everything was packed well. There was a heat pack. There was a phase thing that kind of helps balance the heat, which is always real good. If your dealer's using those phase packs, especially when it's really cold or really hot, you know you're dealing with somebody that's pretty reputable. So we've got a nice haul here. I got a lot of enclosures to set up, so I'm gonna go take care of that real fast. And then we'll be back to introduce these guys to their new home. This is probably a good of point as any to tell you about the reason that Tie-Dye Exotics is sponsoring this video. And that's because they have a great Black Friday sale that's going on now until November 27th. You can save 35% off your entire order by using the code BLACKFRIDAY35. Now this is only until November 27th, but if you're watching this video after that, that's okay, you can still get a discount. You can use my affiliate code, TTC10, that will save you 10% off your entire order, year round. Now unfortunately you can't stack both of these codes, so you gotta choose, either pick the Black Friday 35 now through November 27th, or use the TTC10. You know, most vendors, they will specialize on tarantulas or true spy or scorpions or isopods, but tie-dye exotics does it all. They've got a huge selection of centipedes, scorpions, tarantulas, spiders, isopods, all kinds of cool invertebrates, and more. So be sure to check out their website, tie-dyeexotic.com, and if you purchase anything, don't forget to use that code TTC10. It'll save you 10% and let tie-dye exotics know that you heard about them from this video. So that was a lot of work. I probably have dirt all over me, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on these rehousing. So up first is the Latrodectus geometric Metricus, or the brown widow spider, and I think there's two in here, but we'll find out in a second. Up next, we've got the other black widow. This is the Mediterranean widow, or Latrodectus dolly, and there are a lot of them in here. So we're gonna get everything set up and ready. Off the rip, there's a little one. Two. Up next is the Magma theraphosini species. Now, this is a new species. I'm I don't know a lot about it, but I'm very excited to see it. Oh, it's a tiny little spiderling. Looks like he tried gnawing through his towel a little bit. Let me show you something. The next one is the T. Celadonia. Oh, she's a tiny little thing. I feel like this is the only size I've ever actually seen in person of a T. Celadonia.
this may be way too much room for her. I probably should have went another size smaller. She can't get out of those vent holes, so we'll see how it goes. All right, the next thing on the table here are the spider beetles. This is Mizium Affine. He told me to mix some dog food and oats together and then fill it up about halfway and then put an egg crate on top. So that's what I did, never kept these before. He said that after they get established, the population can start exploding. So very interesting to see how these things go. These guys are very cool. I'm sure there are people out there that have been selling them, but I've never seen them before. None of the tarantula dealers that I deal with I've ever noticed carry these. So, I mean, this is, this is a cool little find. I'm super stoked to have these in the collection. Now we've got the six-eyed sand spider. Now this one's gonna be cool. I put it in a tarantula cribs uh, octagon kind of enclosure. Not an octagon, hexagon. It's got some substrate on the bottom and then a good layer of sand. Some of that exoterra outback red. Now these guys can be very venomous. They don't bite or it's very difficult to get bit or just bites are rare. Don't get bit is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can get a little bit of footage. There he is, but he's not really moving very much. Definitely alive. I think he's just being shy. Oh yeah, now he's running around. Very cool. This is a Mihocon Red Rump, the Bonatina Tanzeri. Very excited to see this guy. Ooh, oh, what a great size. <laughs> Kicking a little hair at me. He didn't really put much effort into it. It was like the laziest hair kick I've ever seen. I don't know if it showed up on camera, but that dark patch right off their carapace is actually kind of a bluish color. That is awesome. That is one healthy looking juvenile. Oh, wow. So cool. I mean, this is quite the selection of invertebrates. I'm pretty excited. Now let's get these isopods unboxed. I got these set up in a tarantula cribs enclosure. I've got a really good isopod substrate, a lot of leaf litter. These guys are gonna do really well. I'm probably just temporarily gonna keep them in this until I can get one of the normal isopod containers that I have over there. Wow, they're already crawling out. <laughs> they are rearing to get out. All right, guys, I'll just let you go. Now we've got the Anza Borrego Harry Hydrobris on a Borrego. I don't know. It's supposed to be kind of like a desert hairy, so I set up a nice enclosure here for it. I want to put it in something bigger because it is a pretty big scorpion, but for now, this will do. This is one of the uh, large tarantula cribs cuboid enclosures, and wow, look at that guy. He is big. Ooh, coming out. Come on out, buddy. I'm not going to mess with you. Wow. Look at the size of that guy. Can I put my... Ooh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I was gonna try to put that there for size comparison. Here's my phone. <laughs> That's one cool scorpion. So beautiful. Next up, I'm back here, is some of these roaches. These are the Mega Glow Spot Roach. Now, I only saw two of them in here, so let's see how many there actually are. There's one, a carrot. There's two, there's three, four. Oh, and a bunch of little ones. Five, six. Oh, I don't even know, I lost count. There's so many tiny ones, like a whole lot of tiny ones. Now I got a big piece of rotting wood kind of going down the middle at an angle, as was suggested by Ty. I think they're gonna like this little habitat. Plenty of places to hide and they're already hidden. And now the other roaches, these are the orange back cockroaches. Again, it's a 10 gallon enclosure, same setup. Got the rotting wood right in the middle. Kind of got a damp side and a more dry side. Let's get these all in there. Oh, well, there's a couple. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. I think there were 10 of them that I counted and there was a bunch of little ones that kind of fell out, so. And we're moving on to the very last one. And last but not least is the purple giant centipede. Scolopendra purple giant. And I've got the extra large cuboid enclosure here with a bunch of uh, exoterra stone desert. We've got a lot of moss, a lot of leaves. Now centipedes are really cool and I think they should be a lot more popular than they are. And that will probably change in the near future, but I've got a few. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with them. If you set up the enclosure really well, like give them plenty of places to hide, I find that they, come out a lot more often. And with enclosures like this, it gives them plenty of ventilation and a very secure lid. This thing is massive. And he had a lot of centipedes available. He let me choose and, and I was looking through them and there were so many to choose from. I was having a hard time and finally it was just like, give me a colorful and large one. 
because I'm sure whatever the husbandry is, I can manage it. And this is the beauty that he sent me. Man, that thing is large. Let's see if we can get her to move out without running up the tongs. There we go. Whoa, and she's off. <laughs> well, as you can see, they have a wide assortment of invertebrates, not just tarantulas. And there are so many centipedes available, I had a really hard time picking this one out. So a huge thanks to Ty from Tie Dyed Exotics for this amazing unboxing. I will leave a link to their website down below in the description, and I'll also pin it to the top comment in the comment section. And between now and November 27th, don't forget to use that code BLACKFRIDAY35 to save 35% off your entire purchase. And if you're watching this after November 27th, just use my affiliate code TTC10. That will save you 10% off your entire order all year round. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs>